Hi, I'm Clara. Glad to see you on our day. People who have already purchased a Fabulator carting machine tend to focus on two questions. How to use it, how to maintain it. Today we'll not talk about how to use it, but in fact, you can find a lot of training and specific solutions on my channel. For example, a full series of SIPCAD training, two pro software tutorials and other knowledge that you will need here and there. Today we'll focus on the issues of how to maintain it. You can click the link below in the description to have a trip to our store. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. Although high-quality after-sale service can provide some basic guarantees, regular and comprehensive maintenance is the most important thing to really prolong the service life of laser cutting machines. So how can we probably maintain the Fab laser cutting machine? What maintenance mistakes will we make in our daily use? The first common mistake is no checking and replacing for a long time. A long time we are talking about is also conditional. If the environment where the machine is located is very clean, it should be probably about a month. But according to my experience, the environment where most of the machines are not very, very clean. After the machine has been working continuously for two weeks or stopped for a period, we suggest that the following inspections can be done. Number one, the components in the optical path, such as laser lenses, should be inspected to ensure that there's no abnormal phenomenon, such as dust pollution in each optical component. In fact, the lens here is mainly the focusing and collimating part but we do not recommend opening the cavity of the canning head frequently because the lens will also have the risk of contamination when opening. We can use run light to see. First of all, ensure that the surrounding environment is wind-free, dust-free, and water-free, and then remove the lower protective lens, turn on the run light, and let the red light shine directly on a piece of clean white paper. Check the lenses by observing the state of the red light. Number two, it's best to replace the circulating water and clean the water tank once a week. It's worth noting that in a high temperature or humid environment, we should always pay attention to the cooling water circulation horses or the mechanical casing, especially, especially the cutting head and the laser casing. If condensation is found, stop using the machine immediately and check whether the temperature difference between inside and outside is too large. Please take the problem seriously. Among the customers I have served, the laser module was burned out due to the large temperature difference. Number three, get reels and racks also need to be cleaned regularly. It's recommended to do it once every half a month. During the operation of the equipment, a large amount of dust, mental waste, and smoke will be generated by the workpiece. And if those impurities are deposited on the surface of the get reel and rack for a long time, it will cause many adverse effects on the processing accuracy of the equipment and shorten its service life. In October last year, I met a customer who complained that the slider was dead and the oil circuit was out of working. The last diagnosis we gave him was that impurities blocked the oil circuit and the running track of the slider causing mechanical failure and damage. Number four, check the lubrication system, whether there is oil in the oil pot. Number five, 
If compressed air is the main cutting gas, we also need to check the compressed air filters regularly. The second common mistake is to cut lentils at full power frequently. Machines like people need rest. If the maximum thickness is cut at full power for a long time, it will inevitably shorten the service life of the laser. The third mistake is to cut high reflective materials for a long time. Fiber laser cutting machine can probably cut some high reflection materials, such as aluminum, brass, and so on. But we cannot leave the machine in this highly sensitive situation for hours. Our suggestion is that for high reflective materials, the machine needs to rest for 10 minutes in half an hour. According to my experience, some high brightness galvanized shades and stainless steel should also be counted as high reflection materials. I have a client who needs to cut a lot of galvanized shades. I was lucky enough to see the galvanized shades he wanted to cut, which can really be regarded as high reflective materials. The fourth mistake is to cut directly without checking anything after turning on the machine every morning. This is something we strongly reject. What we need to do after turning on the machine every day should be a fixed process. Just like when we wake up, just like when we wake up every morning, we'll take a shower, brush our teeth, wash, wash our face, and eat breakfast. If you still don't know what we need to do after starting up every morning, please click the video up here. The fifth mistake is not checking whether the gas is turned down or whether the air pressure is sufficient. If cutting without gas, the worst case is that the entire cutting head and laser may be burned down. Mistake number six is not checking to see if the laser is centered after replacing the nozzle. If the laser is not in the center of the nozzle, the problem may be an even cutting. Slags on one side and the nozzle will be hot at the same time, or even the nozzle will be burned. Do you want to share other mistakes? Please leave your comment below. Thank you for watching. I will be appreciated if you can click the share button below and let me help more friends who are in searching free and practical knowledge of Fiber Laser Cartridge Machine. Thank you for your support. It's a great motive to allow me to do more. Please don't forget to subscribe me if you are first time here and if you still have the time, stick around and check another video. See you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Bye. The next step is to download the free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.